Superheroes have been a part of American culture since the early 19th century. We've all heard the stories of Peter Parker, the boy bitten by a radioactive spider and then becoming the Amazing Spider-Man, or Clark Kent, otherwise known as the Man of Steel Superman. These stories, which started out as just 15 cent comic books, have been transformed and updated the last decade by moving to the silver screen. The question is, will this comic book fad soon fade away or continue to bring the blockbuster type revenue to film studios? Whenever a comic book movie comes out, the next day, like, we just, we're ready for it. People will come in and tell us, like, what they didn't translate from the comic book well. Or, and you, you can tell when people haven't read the comic, because a lot of times they have totally different complaints, or they liked it for uh, different reasons. Um, whether or not a comic book translates well, though, doesn't seem to me to be directly related to its success. Like, if it's a good movie, it's going to be a good movie, whether or not it was stuck to the comic book. But it's certainly for a lot of people, they like to see it stick to the comic book since they loved it so much. I think the reason it's happening is because they're making money. <laughs> uh, but I think that the reason why people are going to see them is because um, superhero movies are just, I mean, they're combining action pack stuff and they, they, give it a, they give you a chance to be like a little cheesy without like seeming too campy, I guess. Like, cause you know when you go to see a superhero movie that it's that like some like kind of ridiculous stuff might happen. But since you're ready for it, it I think it kind of just lets the action just kind of go on. And uh, so I think one of the reasons why they're so popular is because people want to see that like larger than life sort of stuff, but in the superhero setting, it's, it's easier to come across. I mean, we've had tons of people come in to buy Walking Dead just because they, they watch the show. Um, and uh, with movies, yeah, whenever there's a big new movie, um, the movie's success directly corresponds with our sales too, for the most part, like Green Lantern wasn't, people didn't really like it that much and we didn't get that many people onto Green Lantern because of it. But uh, so, but like the Superman movie, a lot of people came in after seeing the Superman movie. Superheroes are kind of our modern mythology. You know, mythology has been around for since there've been humans. You know, and I think that's a way to see it represented for the masses. People who read novels get obsessed when there's a new version of their favorite book coming out. I think it's everybody feels very proprietary towards their favorite thing. I think that they'll be, along, uh, be around for quite a while because the, movie, the comic books have always been a part of our culture and I think the movies will continue to play upon that. You can join the fantasy, you can be part of that guy that's flying or, or the really strong person, you can um, you know, out of your normal everyday realm and, and see something that's fantastic, that, that's unreal. And the kids enjoy playing the part uh, when we brought our kids out here. They were wearing Superman outfits when we saw The Man of Steel, so they were really excited about it. Uh, I feel like the movies will always you know, be made, but as far as being as popular as they are now, they will be until something else comes along to take their place, because there's always some kind of a, uh, you know, a niche that people grab onto, and right now it seems to be superhero movies. Well, everyone loves a hero, and no matter what kind of movie it is, in just superhero movies, the hero tends to stand out more than in other movies like that. The first couple nights, like especially midnight releases and stuff like that, you get the ones who are like really big comic book fans, always been comic book readers. Um, usually, like right after those people get done coming to see it, it tends to be kids a lot more. And then the longer it's here, the audience starts to get older and older and older. Well, I mean, if you look at comics, they are monthly. They are they are a serial, so I think that they would lend themselves pretty well to television. But I think one of the big appeals of seeing a superhero on the screen is the budget where you can see them fly and all the cool special effects. You can't get that on television as much. Although I think, I think a lot of them would lend themselves better to television. The comic's still on the shelf. The movie doesn't erase the comic. The movie doesn't erase a book. It's still on the shelf. Pick it up. <laughs> Regardless of what hardcore fans or regular moviegoers may think, comic book movies have years of material to pull from, and with box office smashes like The Avengers and The Dark Knight Trilogy, it's safe to say these movie studios will continue to produce these movies and TV shows for years to come.